Hey guys, Kelly here again, Kel's Aquariums. And a look at the tank. There's a bit of stuff floating in the water, but it's uh, just because I've been messing about a bit today, I've had to uh, tie that plant back on properly. It was on, but it was done really bad. <laughs> and the same with that one, which has only got one main leaf, but I say it's growing a, growing some new ones. That one did the same. Anubius Nano Pinto. As you can see, there's like three or four new leaves on that. Same with all the other plants, like they're all just starting to uh, starting to sprout new ones, apart from these book of philandras, they're going alright, so is the uh, Java fern. Um, just wanted to look at the tank with the, uh, say there's a bit of stuff in the water, but the, the, if you remember, my, if you watched my last video, I was on about changing the, oh, I all them cherries, I was on about changing the type of CO2 mixer I had. And I changed, if you watch the engine room video, you'll see what I changed to. Uh, that's fully mixing all of the CO2 in the actual uh, mixer itself. No bubbles are getting through into this. You know, it was like lemonade before, now it's pretty good. Um, got the same levels of CO2. It's a bit fatted there, look at him. Fatted. Um, same levels, I'm, I'm all the way green. You can see that I'm just trying to get it in some so you can but yeah green and I've what I've done with having that good mixing of the CO2 the focus will work we're doing that good mixing it also means that I've been able to drop a bubble a second so I was do, I, to keep them green I've got two in I've got one that corner and one high up to keep that both of those green the drop checkers which is optimal CO2, I was having to put three bubbles a minute, uh, a second in with this different mixer, because it's got a lot more space to actually mix it, I've only got to have two a second, so you know, it's gonna, I mean it doesn't really matter, it's not, not exactly the most expensive thing, but it's still gonna save and it just means I have to re replenish them less, so it's, it's good but yeah, it's all going pretty well, I'm just gonna drop a bit of food in in a minute might film it, watch, see see them roses go a bit, a bit crazy. And see, here they come. Just a little bit. Just a, I, I feed sinking food to all my fish. You know, the big boys out, or one of the big boys out, and them two langers are in it. Say, so I have bought some new ones. I've got I've got another six coris to go in. Not albinos like them, but they are bronze coris like them. Attacking them, yeah. So they're bronze, they're albino bronze cories. I've got six bronze cories. I've got another six cherries as well to go in. And then my local fish shoppings lane, water garden centre up in Dunswell, best one in the area by a long way. They're getting me some new. They're, some, they're getting some. He's, he's ordered some because I said I wanted some of these um, albino bronzes. He had albino stair by. But he didn't have albino bronze, so he's just ordered me. Well, he's just ordered some of them in, so I can get some. Look how busy it is. They're all out. <laughs> so yeah, he's just ordered some of them. So next weekend, I'll put the bronze ones in here. The actual bronze quarries. Oh, the, the, they're on the stuff that ain't quite sank yet. The beast. The colouring up nice. I'm gonna try and get a decent. You know, I've 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 chose to do this at the wrong time, and I while they're feeding, you know, and moving about. But yeah, hopefully you can see how nice and red them females are. Because the thing I had, I say I only had one male in there, and like nine, ten females. So I've got five more males and uh, one more female to go in. But yeah, so he's going to have me some bron uh, some albino bronzes in for next weekend, and I'll get six of them, and that'll be me stocked, I think, because at that point I'll have eighteen-ish. I, don't, I lost two now, so I'll have uh, 16 cherries in, which are all small at the minute, but they'll grow. And then I'll have another eight coris on top of that, so that should be, that'll be nicely stocked at that point. So there's a bit of madness going on over there, with a bit of a webcam on. So I can watch me tank when I'm at work and stuff. Probably should be working, but you know. Um, I'm going to try and set up one. A better camera, what pretty much just looks directly at the front of the tank like this. Uh, so, let's see what happens. Get some stuff sorted out. But yeah, so all I've done is 
tied a few plants back on. So hopefully they won't swell about all over. That's just a bit of root, what's got a couple of little leaves coming off it, little shoots. What broke off that, so I thought I'd sling it on, see how it does. So why is it can happen? So there's my little Buca philandra, oh, I can't remember what it's called, it's a real little one that. <laughs> There's a big shrimp there, isn't they? I wasn't going to look at that, I don't come in to look at him. Oh, my glass is a bit smudgy there though. I need to find some decent stuff for cleaning glass, what's fish surf? But yeah, so, yeah, you, you don't often see my uh, Sammy's algae, or algae eater moving about much. He's always lazy, I think people have commented, but yeah, as you can see now, he's been all over since the food went in. He, he, he moves when he needs to, you know what I mean? <laughs> he moves when he's hungry. Well, yeah, bit of shrimp back there, doing shrimp stuff. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.